Welcome, this is the energy vibration reading for all um, Aquarians, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. This is a week of transformation. Um, this is the second week of July 2017, and the week began from the 10th of July until the 16th of July. This is a wonderful period where there's a, going to be a lot of changes. The zodiac energy is uh, um, water and the, the um the um, energy vibration is here so water in here it's gonna be a stormy stormy week people but it's gonna be okay <clears throat> there are wonderful wonderful positive situations that are happening um, the energy of the hair is here it's cleansing because you're a fire sign your best day is going to be Thursday and Friday um, on Thursday and Friday is going to be a best day. There is um, uh, the energy of a lot of people. There are situations of conflicts that is going to be here in this week. But um, there's two time conflicts. So your number is going to be the number five. Number five. It's going to be number five. Number five. Wow. So anyway, I'm going to try and speak over the noise uh, well, because um, there's so much um, noise. Okay, let's look at your reading and let's focus on what is going to happen. Your focus is going to be the Four of Swords, so it's going to be a restful week for you. So let's look at this week as a restful week. The Four of Swords is always when you're taking rest. And I love using those cards because they show you um, what is happening around you and the sort of the energy that is happening around you. So this is, this is just so wonderful. This is a week where you're going to take rest and you're going to connect on different levels and that sort of a thing. So this is going to be positive, okay? This is going to be extremely, extremely positive. Okay, we're moving forward, and I'm really trying. I'm sorry, people, for the extra noise. Okay, as I look at your week, we're having um the the cups, a water energy, water energy vibration on Monday for you guys, which is a four of cups. The energy of the four of cups is always a regret over something. So there is a regret, there's a conflict and a regret over something, whatever that is, we need to focus on that sort of a thing. We need to understand there is going to be regrets over relationships, whatever is happening in your relationship, there's going to be regrets over this and this, and this we need to understand and we need to move this forward and we need to understand this sort of a thing I'm sorry but it's annoying me the noise <laughs> the extra noise okay so what we're going to do is that on Tuesday we have um, an earth energy and that earth energy is going to be the three of Pentacles I love the energy of the three of Pentacles because in this card deck you can see it's given three different things because we three of Pentacles is always when we are trying to um, um, work with other people to get things going so this is going to be um, a completely wonderful week in the sense that you're working in teams or organization to get certain aspects and certain things going so this is going to be good as we move forward we have the king of cups crowning your reading the king of cups is a wonderful energy whenever he's working on the positive side he's a wonderful person he's very loving whatever situation that was uh, over him is this breaking down so if he was creating situations for you this is going to be broken off and broken down if uh, you were creating situation if you had a relationship with this person uh, um, it is going to come to an end everything is going to collapse and it's going to come to an end because this um, is the healing that is going to come out okay as we look forward on Thursday which I said was your best day so you have um, the five of ones the conflicts but this conflicts is good this conflicts is with someone who you have known from the past this is a conflicts within families and that sort of a thing so it can be conflicts with good friends conflicts with people in family conflicts with other people but it's going to be um, resolve okay so it's going to be conflicts with other people and family and that sort of a thing 
as we move forward and we look at the energy we have the energy of the devil the energy of the devil is your energy vibration this is good and you're also there you're focusing there and this is good so Thursday and Friday you see the energy of the week changing because we begin the week with water and then hurt and then water again and now your own energy vibration is coming in and this is going to be wonderful and this is going to be positive so whatsoever is going on um, especially for the women on Friday it's going to be a very positive day on Saturday what do we have we have the nine of Pentacles this is a wonderful wonderful energy the nine of Pentacles so I expect the unexpected expect money a lot of money will be coming in money will be coming in from different and it's not a little bit of money it's going to be gifts of money money is coming in and this is going to be good whatsoever is happening on this stand money is coming in from an organization and whatever that may be and whatever organization that may be money is coming in as we look at Sunday we have the page of cups with a happy family even though he looks like this he's bringing you good news about money and he's bringing you happiness with the news that is coming about money it's going to be a complete happiness okay so this is just going to be wonderful and um, you know some people do not like these cards but you know don't look at uh, it's not <laughs> some of the photos it's just the energy that the cards carry and for myself I can really work with them because some people do not like um, these sort of energy but it is good as I look at your week and I'm looking at the beginning of your week love is a focus on Thursday the energy of love will be playing out on Sunday the energy of love will be playing out so whatever the information about money that is coming in because on Saturday you have the nine of Pentacles so yeah on Sunday the family is the family is as if it's uh, now connected and everything is okay because you know whenever there is not enough financial um, abundance in your life and that sort of a thing it affects your family life and it affects the people around you so um, you're gonna see that on Sunday with this money that came in on Saturday that uh, um, the family is going to come together yeah and it is so strange but love is going to be a focus on Sunday and Thursday and the love is between you and family members trying to resolve situation or people who you have known from the past trying to resolve certain situation a relationship problems is going to be in the beginning of the week because you are having um, you're having a regret about a relationship so um, you're seeing um, this five of ones but it's gonna be okay it's it's, it's gonna be okay it's not, not gonna be the end you know this relationship is uh, it's good to to, um, to save this relationship if you try to save this relationship it will be safe whatever is happening but the kings of cups is like um, um, governing your reading whatever is happening the kings of cups is governing your reading and what is happening is that uh, whatever the kings of cups is there that means there is a situation that needs to be healed and I can see the family situation at the right and under it uh, um, the healing of uh, materialistic aspects of the family is going to be healed as I look there is conflicts with family situation in the second half of the week and then when we look forward we're looking and whatever the situation is if you have kids and there is a situation you need to heal the situation with your child whatsoever is happening because I am seeing this more and more for especially the fire people and whatever it's happening you need to heal the situation because if you don't heal the situation it's gonna um, drag out and drag out so there is conflicts with a child so if you're a mom and it is really for you Aries there are conflicts that are happening in your family life with your children and this needs to be healed okay um, the energy vibration of uh, this water sign which is on and over your reading looking down on you watching over you it can be also the energy vibration of someone who has passed over to the spirit world so if you have a grandfather or father or a brother that has passed over to, uh, to the spirit world um, he, he is watching over you so this is always uh, um, 
one of those aspects that is coming up that uh, this always happens because as we look at your week it's all about money it's balance it's focus it's a connection with kids um, the love is all about your partnership some people will have regrets about the situation some people will not and this sort of a thing this is what you're seeing happening here so you're seeing wonderful new possibilities and new things that are opening up and this is perfect because what you're seeing is that celebrations are going to come in and it's going to be good um business wise it's going to be a wonderful week whatsoever that is happening business wise it's it's going to be really 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 a, a positive a positive week this week we're working with the unicorn and what we have for you guys is seek seek um the truth within you know seek because sometimes um things happen and you need to look at things as a seek you know what is going on here so it says uh, look for good in your current situation just seek the good in your current situation so whatsoever is going on try and seek the good out of your your situation try and see what is it that uh, this situation is uh, helping you to understand and elevating you to a higher rate so seek the good of your situation and understand where and how this is going to affect you so this is going to be a positive positive week so whatsoever is happening you need to have rest and you need to seek the good out of a situation that is happening around you okay um as we go forward the last card that i'm using because we're using the ascension deck and um by using the ascension deck this is wonderful um let's see what is happening for the ascension deck i see what the message is and it is Arch I visit Archangel Metatron retreat in my sleep. I visit Archangel Metatron retreat in my sleep. So Archangel Metatron retreat is above uh, the Temple of Lux in, e uh, in, e in Egypt, where he holds the ascension energy for the world. He maintained this energy by um, bringing forward spiritual discipline. He suggests you commit to a spiritual practice uh, if you do not already have one. Luxon is the spiritual throat chakra of the heart as it, uh, as it ascends people with uh, communication, higher wisdom, and link telepathic uh, with all life forms. You are asked uh, to send love and wisdom to all um, sentient beings. This card invites you to visit uh, Metatron Retreat uh, in your s sleep uh, to accelerate your spiritual growth. So this is extremely wonderful. So you can just constantly say, oh, uh, I visit Archangel Metatron in my sleep. I visit Archangel Metatron in my sleep. And I want to say to each and every person, thank you for being here. Sorry for the background noise. <laughs> and I'm sending you love and light until next week.